Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is an unboxing. I finally decided to try a subscription box. I've seen so many cool subscription boxes floating around in different unboxing videos that I finally decided to try one. The box that I decided to try is called Lit Cube. You can see mine got a little bit banged up in the shipping, but hopefully everything is still intact. So this one just sounded really cute and um, the theme this month is dragons because you can see their little mascot is a dragon and I believe this is their anniversary box. So it seemed like a really fun one to start out with and of course I love dragons so bonus. Also the side of the box is really cute. It's just got this bright colors and books along the side so I really like that. Okay, got my box, got my scissors. So right on top there is a little um, what's in the box pamphlet, but I am going to wait to look at that so I don't spoil myself. Then you can see it's got this cute purple tissue paper. I really like the colors in this box so far. I'm definitely feeling them. Ooh. Okay, so to start, there is a plushie. I'm going to take it out of the paper so it doesn't make all this crinkle noise. So um, this is a pair. This is the actual mascot for Lit Cube, in a, this little plushie. Um, you can see he's got a little Lit Cube um, label there. That's super cute. I like that he's kind of like sleepy, derpy looking. Okay, so he needs to go over here. Then there's a little um, anniversary card, it looks like. It's got a little like, birthday cupcake, just says anniversary of the dragon. Um, yeah, so letting us know it is their anniversary. Okay, so the first thing that's jumping out to me that's a little odd is um, beef jerky. I did not know that food would be included in this, so um, that's weird. I don't actually eat much meat, but um, I will see that somebody gets this that enjoys this. This is Smoky Chipotle, um, Fat Man's Beef Jerky. Okay, so that was a super surprise. Okay, so this is just cute looking. I'll just show you kind of the inside of the box. It's got this little um, like crinkle paper on the side and <clears throat> Oh, colored, colored pencils. Um, little like Lit Cube official looks like. Colored pencils with the built-in sharpener. And then it says color this journal. So this is really cute. Okay, so um, it's kind of just like a regular journal, but then there are random coloring pages in it which is a pretty cool idea actually. Yeah, so it looks like mostly journal pages and then um, the occasional coloring page, so that's pretty cool. All right, here's the book. Every box has a, at least one book in it, so. Um, this book is called Slayers Fight Fire with Fire by C.J. Hill. There's a dragon on top, so still going with the theme. I've never heard of this. Um, let's read the back. 16-year-old Tori Hampton may be a socialite and a senator's daughter, but she's certainly more than just a pretty face. She's smart and tough and surprisingly good at outdoor sports. For as long as she can remember, Tori always had a secret obsession with dragons. And now that she's attending dragon camp for the summer, she can't wait to indulge her inner fascination. But unbeknownst to Tori, this is no ordinary camp. This is a camp for slayers. A handful of teens descended from the original knights, and with new dragon eggs about to hatch, the time for the slayers to save the world is now. Danger awaits, romance beckons, and their very survival is at stake. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. Um, yeah. I will have to give this a try at some point. And then the last item in here, which I'm also going to take out of the paper because it's crinkly. It's this cool, like, dragon 
leather strappy bracelet. That's pretty neat. I really like that actually. Okay, you know what? I'll wait. <laughs> but this does look cool. Um, you just might need a friend to help put it on, apparently. Alright, so let's look at the card. So um, first it mentions the readable, which is of course the book. Okay, and then it says snackable, so I guess um, maybe all the boxes include some sort of snack. I didn't actually realize that when I ordered this. Then the wearable, which is the dragon bracelet. The exclusive lit cube plushie. This exclusive plush of our beloved book drunk dragon mascot. Okay, so he's drunk. That explains his little, like, tired Google eyes. His name is Stax. This is limited edition. This version of our dragon won't ever be produced again, so all of our subscribers lucked out this month. Stax is happiest when lounging, ahem, guarding a stack of books. Keep this little guy close and your books will never fall into harm's way. That's cute. This guy, I think, is definitely my favorite part of the box so far. Then the color of this journal, an exclusive colored pencil set. Color until your heart's content with this lovely set of colored pencils made specially for our subscribers. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cute. And I can't remember exactly how much this box cost. I think it was about 30 bucks, but I will put that info below. I did buy this one myself. It wasn't um, a like, sent to me thing. I will put that and the link to their website down below in case you would like to check it out. Um, yeah, I thought that this was pretty fun. I really like that I happened to get the anniversary one. Um, it seems like I got a little extra special stuff in there. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I will stick with this particular subscription box. I want to try a few different ones and just see what's all out there. This particular box was fun because it was dragons and because it's the anniversary, so I'm excited to have gotten my little Stax plushie over there, and I do really like this bracelet, and I also really like the journal. Um, the jerky obviously wasn't a huge hit for me, but um, the journal and the bracelet and the plushie, love them. So. I guess that's my rambling feels about this box. Um, I'm excited to do a few more unboxings in the coming weeks and see if any of them stick and are any that I want to continue on with. Definitely let me know in the comments if you subscribe to Lit Cube and what your feelings are on them or if you subscribe to any other bookish boxes. I would love to hear some recommendations on what I should try. So thanks guys for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody's week is going well and I will talk to you later. Bye!